This question is all about the lock and key theory, which explains how enzymes work in the body. So we've got a diagram here, which explains how the lock and key theory works. We've got an enzyme and we've got the substrate here. They've given us a key. So E is for enzyme, S is for substrate and P is for product. So what we can see here is we've got the enzyme and we've got the substrate going into the enzyme. Both of these shapes are complementary. So that means the shape of the active site fits the substrate in perfectly. And that's what the second part of the diagram is showing. The substrate goes into the active site of the enzyme. Once that's happened, you can see here, the substrate splits into products with a P and then it leaves. We basically need to explain this whole process for three marks. So we need to say three points here. So first thing we can say is the substrate fits perfectly into the active site of the enzyme. The substrate binds to the active site as it fits its shape, or you can say they're complementary. That's a more scientific way of saying it. Second point here is that the substrate breaks up into products. The substrate breaks up into products. Now, how do we get the third mark? Well, these products leave, so you can either say the products are released, or you could talk about the enzyme itself. Once the products are released, you can see the enzyme is completely unchanged. That means it can take in another substrate after the products leave. Any of those would get you that third mark. I'll say both the products leave and the enzyme remains unchanged. And that's how you get three marks.